Hello cheapskaters, I'm Kath Armstrong, creator of the Cheapskates Club, where our goal is to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing. I'm sorry for the horrible headline, but things are grim. So grim that our national news, yes, mainstream media, is reporting that the grocery pain we are feeling now with rising prices on meat and produce as well as our basic grocery items and other household necessities is going to continue for years and years and years, at least three years. This is the current situation we see ourselves in and it isn't going away anytime soon. There are reasons for this. Rising natural gas prices are putting pressure on all manufacturers, so the price of tinned food is going up. Those same rising natural gas prices are putting the price of just about everything up. And we can't blame the manufacturers. They need to make money. They need to cover their costs and they need to make a small profit. That's why they're in business. But then we have the worldwide wheat shortage. We're down to about 50 days of wheat left, I think, in the world, apparently. The fuel problems in Europe, there's drought in the USA. Closer to home, we've had the floods in northern Australia that have washed away most of the crops. And they're crops we rely on for fresh produce, especially down south during winter washed away the topsoil oh, and the stock. Lots of stock have been lost. So my advice is don't slack off on that pantry building. Now it's not a new message from me. I have been encouraging you to build your pantries and stockpile for years. Years and years and years. So tip one is now more than ever Keeping the pantry full is vital. As you use something, replace it. If it's on the now very rare half price sale, make sure you get two. You're not spending any more money. You are building your pantry. Tip two, grow some of what you eat. I know it's not a popular thought. But people, if you can grow it, it costs you the packet of seeds. Seeds are going up in price too, but it is still cheaper to grow a lettuce than pay $6 or more. So I've seen signs of them for being $11 for a lettuce. They're easy to grow, guys. Tip three, shop wisely. Now, I know you're already shopping wisely but we all need to increase our shopping wisdom. Shopping isn't just about getting, um, sorry, shopping isn't just about heading to the supermarket. It's looking around us to see what is available. Huh, new concept. It's about building a network of others we can trade with. You might have an abundance of garlic and need plums. And your best friend's mother has an abundance of plums and needs garlic. Trade. She'd love your garlic. You'd love her plums. Do a swap. Build that network. If you can sew, trade mending for something you need. It doesn't have to be food for food. Jane told me just this week that she trades mending for freshly caught fish that's a win-win for her and her neighbor she gets the fresh fish neighbor gets whatever it is that needs mending mended it works so you get the idea let the people you trust and i'm going to emphasize people you trust know what you need and what you have to trade and shop that way Trading is a form of shopping, people. Tip four, look for free food. It's out there. It is out there. What fruit trees are on public land near you? 
Now we have a street about two over from us that's been planted with plum trees down the nature strips. Only street around us, but there's plum trees. I was so excited when I found them and I was even more excited when I realised that the people who lived on that street didn't pick the plums off the trees. They let them fall on the ground. So meh, when it's plum time, I keep a close eye on those trees. I walk down that street every day to check them, see which trees are doing the best, see which trees are going to be ripe first. And when they're ready, I pick them. And I use them to make plum jam, to make plum sauce, to make plum cake. I use them. I don't let them go to waste. It breaks my heart to see fruit dropping on the ground because people won't pick it up. I'm shopping the free food near me. Learn what plants are edible and how they can be used. And look for them on your walks. What, you, you don't walk? Well, crikey, start. Walking is free exercise. And if you can forage as you walk, it's actually going to be making you money. Think of it that way. Now, these ideas might seem a bit out there to you. They might be a bit adventurous. Oh, they might be a bit scary. You might not be ready to do that yet. So how about looking at what is on your shopping list and making some changes? Tip five, that's my last one. Make sure you are only buying ingredients. Ingredients give you options. If there's a particular tinned or packet product you like, look at the ingredient list and, even, um, and compare it to what ingredients you have in your pantry and see if you can make it. If you have the ingredients, then you most likely can replicate that particular food, tin, packet, whatever at home. If you don't have a recipe, search for one. Hello. Finding recipes has never been easier. It's not rocket surgery. It's just changing the way we do things. Prices are going to keep going up. Food is going to be more and more, I hate to say this word, but more and more expensive. Everything we buy is going to be more expensive for years to come. We've been warned. I've been saying it for years. Other YouTubers have been saying it for years and now we've got Grocery Association saying it, government saying it. It's being talked about in mainstream media. If they start talking about it, it's already happening. It, it's here. It's not coming. It's here. So when we're smarter with our money, when we're smarter with our time, and when we're smarter with our energy, we can survive rising prices. We can eat well and we can eat healthfully. We just need to change a few little habits. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked our show, please give us a thumbs up. If you know someone who might like this show or who might benefit from knowing about Cheapskates Club, please use the share button to send them the link. And if you've got a question, put it in the comments below, all capitals so it stands out, and I'll do my best to answer it for you. Have a great week, everyone. And I hope I see you all in the forum sharing your cheapskating experiences very, very soon.